It'd be interesting to see a regular person challenge a pro to a genuine sparring session and land a lucky blow that results in a win. However, this scenario is unlikely as pros are not giving their all in these sessions, and if things were to get serious, they would easily overpower their opponent in a matter of seconds. Here are some of the most shocking moments where pro fighters destroyed their amateur opponents. Let's get started. Number 8. Ricky Bandejas KOs James Gallagher Ricky Bandejas has risen through Bellator's Bantamweight ranks fast, and he owes at least a small debt of gratitude to James Gallagher. It was at Bellator 204 when Bandejas was matched up with a 22-year-old Irishman whose association with Conor McGregor's SBG team, willingness to talk up a storm, and unbeaten record had made him a polarizing figure just seven fights into his career. An interim title holder with New Jersey's Cage Fury Fighting Championships promotion, Bandejas wasn't expected to be a pushover, but Gallagher still entered the bout as the favorite. It took less than three minutes for Bandejas to turn that prediction on its head and hand Gallagher his first loss in brutal fashion. With a sharp right hand, a straight kick to the jaw, and furious punches on the mat, Bandejas put Gallagher away and in the process made a name for himself off the heavily promoted Strab Animal. Number 7. David Gardner earns a new nickname versus Shinya Aoki. One of the first lessons they teach you in week one of grappling class is that back control is a position of death. That earns you four points if you get in in a tournament, but as the person on the receiving end, don't look forward to a nice time. Naturally, you'd expect a 26-fight veteran like David Gardner to have this concept hardwired in his system, but for some reason, he abandoned all that when he fought Shinya Aoki at Dream 7 in Saitama, Japan in 2009. Aoki had Gardner's back, and all that's left for him to do was to get that forearm under the chin. To his credit, Gardner was doing okay for himself with the hand fighting until he decided to show some love for the home crowd amidst the chaos. Aoki sank his right forearm in, finished the choke, and shot Gardner up to infamy with a new nickname. They say there's no such thing as bad publicity, but I'm not so sure about this one. Ultimately, this should be a valuable lesson for you kids. While a little show of courtesy does go a long way, that too needs the right timing. We'll also be revealing some clown masters getting wrapped up by legitimate fighters in the latter part of the video, so make sure you don't go anywhere and stay with us right till the end. Number 6. Dorian Vaupier vs. Local Guy Hold on to your seat, folks, as we bring you an epic showdown between Dorian Vaupier, the owner of Elite Boxing Fitness Center, and a brash challenger who drove an hour just to take him on. The challenger arrived, spouting off about his time in jail and how he was seeking a place to train, but wanted to take on the coach first. He boasted how he was going to kick his ass. But things didn't go exactly as planned. It was a one-sided beatdown. This guy had terrible footwork, sloppy technique, and got dropped twice in just the first two punches. Why would anyone even bother trying this? Who have you ever fought that made you think you could box? Either they were drunk or handicapped, because there's no way this guy had ever won a single fight. Number 5. YouTuber Magnus Midbill vs. Andreas Lodoen Get ready for a heart-pumping showdown between professional climber and YouTuber Magnus Midbill and amateur MMA fighter Andreas Lodoen. It was an intense battle of wits and strength as they grappled it out on the mat, and boy did Andreas give Magnus a run for his money. Watch in awe as Magnus tries his hardest to secure a guillotine hold on Andreas, but the MMA pro was one step ahead. With calm precision, Andreas grabs Magnus' hand, neutralizing his hold, and smoothly works his way into a dominant position. Just when you think you have the upper hand, the pro sets you up. Magnus thought he had Andreas in a chokehold, but before he knew it, he was caught in one himself. This is what happens when you take on a seasoned fighter. Even the tiniest misstep can spell disaster. Number 4. Clown Master of All Time It's time for the ultimate showdown between a self-proclaimed macho man and a skilled boxer. But wait, it gets even better. The boxers agreed to fight with only one hand. As the bell rings, the two warriors face off with intense energy and relentless determination. But it's clear from the start that the Macho Man is no match for the seasoned fighter. With quick reflexes and precise technique, the boxer outsmarts his opponent at every turn, using his one hand to deliver devastating blows, and just like that, it's all over with a swift right hook to the jaw. Who would have thought that such power and grace could come from a single hand? But this fight's a clear reminder that all the bluster in the world can't beat raw talent and skill. The fake master's been exposed. Let's give a round of applause for the real champion. 
Number 3. Fake Tai Chi Master Getting Destroyed To prove that this Tai Chi Master was worth it, he challenged a Muay Thai practitioner who was well-driven. But things don't go as planned for the fake master. The Muay Thai practitioner quickly takes control, landing a powerful kick. Despite the master's attempts to dodge and catch the strikes out of thin air, he's no match for the fighter's skills. In the second round, the fake master tries a new strategy by keeping his hands locked near his head. However, this proves to be a mistake as the fighter easily catches up and unleashes an incredible kick, sending the fake master crashing to the ground. It's clear that this so-called Tai Chi master is no match for a true martial artist. The fake master's been exposed and defeated. Number 2. Skilled Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu vs. Marine Guy Get ready for an epic battle between a highly trained Marine and a skilled Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioner. The Marine may be battle-tested, but this girl's BJJ technique is top-notch, and she's giving it her all to outsmart him. The Marine fights with determination, but this girl's skills are just too much for him to handle. The Marine tries to take her down with a massive slam, but she's quick on her feet and protects herself, avoiding any head trauma. And with her superior technique, she quickly secures a rear naked chokehold for the win. This match is a testament to the power and effectiveness of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Number 1. MMA fighter Sean O'Malley versus one of his fans. Let's end with the great and very unorthodox MMA fighter Sean O'Malley accepting a challenge from one of his Twitch subscribers to a three-round fight. O'Malley showcases his lightning-fast footwork and sends his opponent flying into the fence multiple times. Despite leaving himself open, the challenger struggles to land any significant strikes. But O'Malley's just playing with his opponent, waiting for the perfect moment to unleash his full potential. The fight goes the distance, but the challenger is clearly worn out by the end of the first round. Despite this, it's a thrilling performance by O'Malley and a great moment for his fans. It's doubtful we'll ever see a real fight between a YouTuber and a professional fighter, but wouldn't it be something to see a YouTuber go up against a seasoned boxer? Who knows where these challenges will take us? But one thing's for sure, the bar will keep getting raised. That's it for the video. Which of these moments did you enjoy the most? Do tell us in the comments section. Also, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the notification bell. We'll see you at the next one.